What up, nerd fighters? It's Brave Little Toaster. I just wanted to bring you a spectacular blog special involving the most well known, most highly recognizable catchphrases from TV and the movies. And if you guys recognize all of these, more power to you. Here goes. Three, two, one. Lucy, you got some splaining to do. What you talking about, Willis? Did I do that? I'm Rick James, bitch. Boom, shake and bake. It's morphin' time. How you doing? I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. Here's Johnny. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Oh my God! Thank you, Kenny. No soup for you. Live long and prosper. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, you're fired. Good morning, Vietnam! Run, Forrest! Run! It's only a flesh wound. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I'll never let go, Jack. I could have been a contender. Feeling lucky, punk? Well, do you? May the Force be with you. I ate his liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Show me the money. Show me the money! Show me the money! You can't handle the truth! I'll have what she's having. If you build it, he will come. I see dead people. Houston, we have a problem. There's no crying in baseball! Carpe diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. I don't care about being your stupid prom queen! I'm 25 years old! I'm an undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun-Times, and I have been beating my brains out trying to impress you people! See, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we have had more than 400 plaintiffs. And, let's face it, we all know there are more out there. They may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't shit when you split it between them. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without having to worry that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame-ass offer... I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. And then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. Yeah, that last one was a little long, but it's one of my favorite movies. And if you guys know it, yes, a million cool points for you. And I'm definitely sending you some imaginary cookies in the mail. And I say imaginary because I would totally send you real cookies, but they'd probably go bad before they got to you. Which would undeniably, indubitably suck. Because you would get your hopes up about having real cookies, and then they would be stale by the time they got to you. So I just try not to make any promises that I can't keep. Anyway, since this is getting exceedingly long, I'll talk to you later, nerd fighters. Don't forget to be awesome, and keep on rocking in the free world.